This is our old original Scuppernong uh, Muscadine grape. It's coming up from the roots. It looks like everything I grew the last two years is croaked. And I've got all these on those, on the old stuff. And it's coming up from the ground. It's done this before. We don't quite understand what it is. There's something disturbing the roots. And this one here I'm growing, it still looks like it's gonna make it. We've got cucumbers coming up. We've got an irrigation down. You can see the cukes. We've got all the lines down. We put this rabbit fence all the way around it. Now they can't come in here and eat these on the outside. And it's about, I don't know, 15, 20 feet of them. But we just ran out of steam. <clears throat> And everything up there is done. And we got a two foot fence all the way around two thirds of the garden. Cause this is all, they wouldn't eat okra, but we've got string beans and squash in here and butter beans. And they will eat those. And the fig tree ain't doing a whole lot. Everything's coming up from a growth ground pretty healthy. Now that is getting bigger. And that one is growing. There's no growth above that point on that branch. There's no grant growth on any of those other branches none zero eventually we're going to cut them down and it's going to be a giant bush it is at mclock on the east coast on friday and these are some callas that i've transplanted out of those that i grew from seed it is getting late in the day but see these two owls seem to be working there's a one right there that's been chewed on a little bit, but my bride picked, uh, I don't know, three handfuls. And there's still some on here. And for people who uh, follow my channel all the time, you can see when I cut these, I drained just back on a video on how to do it. See how full they are? They really grow strong when you do that. Now I have put uh, as, uh, azalea fertilizer on this. And there's still a pink tint to it, so I might need to double up on it. These are a little bluer. And I put the fertilizer down, oh, six, eight weeks ago as a powder, you know, granulated. We're just doing a quick tour around the cottage before we go home. And all this over here, see, it's just coming up from the bottom. Except this one central trunk has got some growth here, but you notice nothing is growing on any of this. So all that's going to come off. And this might give you a few picks right now, but unless it makes it next winter, that branch will come out. And there's nothing growing on those branches back there. Everything's coming up from the base. We got a bunch of liriope monkey grass in here that is a waste of time to plant. My neighbor and I under the Chesapeake Bay hack had to pull uh, pump out our septic tanks, even though we're only down here about 40 days a year. And every five years because it's just big eight bags as that has to be done and this is our marigolds that are going pretty strong and tall and just starting to set flowers it's windy in the afternoon and when we last when we planted these lilies in here i think we had 25 or 6 leaves and now we've got 50 some you might not be able to see it in that little shadow line, but you can see a leaf coming up in that one pot. And that one pot had one tiny little leaf on it that hadn't opened. And they've been in the water about a week or better. I have to look up the date. But if you count them, uh, there's a cluster of three or four in different places. And I think it's over 50. And the coleus, I mean, uh, gladiums we planted in here, they're slow, absolutely slow to come up. But we planted a ton of white ones all the way around the inside. We planted red ones on the outside. There are no red ones on the outside. We have noticed that some digging in here, the squirrels. And they might have taken some of the caladium bulbs. Well, it's time to go up the country. Too much wind blowing. The ospreys out there have hatched their young. We haven't seen them yet. But they regurgitate food. And when you see them over the nest, leaning over and their head disappears, they're feeding their young. And we had branches that we cut out of this place all over this ground here, all around this tree. And we took uh, all, all that to the dump and then we had some more stuff to take to the dump and we made two trips. Plus we used to have an old swing set down there at the end of our property there. And uh, it was beyond repair and dangerous to sit in. So we uh, cut that up with a chainsaw. 
I still haven't got that stump out of there and that one right there we can see three little shoots and then somehow we gotta probably round up all that periwinkle ground cover or whatever's in there anyway it's time to go up the country what's the date darling my watch band broke today Friday the 29th a little cloudy had a nice rain yesterday See you next time.